What is up guys, Brady with Mini Tech Clips, and today I'm going to be showing you how to unjailbreak your iPod Touch 4th generation. Um, that's at least what I'm demonstrating with. Uh, this same method works with iOS 7 and 8, so don't just think it'll just work for iOS 6. And uh, it may not look jailbroken because I uh, press and held the home and power button so it would uh, go back to this type of stage, but I have this custom keyboard uh, just as proof. I didn't put it there for proof, it was just already there. Um, that's a sweet keyboard, but, uh, anyways, the reason I'm doing this is because it's just slowing my device down over time, an iPod 6, or an iPod, <laughs> iPod 6, an iPod 4 wasn't particularly fast, uh, in terms of speed in general, so, yeah, just really not that good of a device, but I bought it when I was 10, 300 bucks, 32 gig, but anyways, um, first step, you want to go to settings, and then you want to go to, uh, iCloud, and hit storage and backup and then make sure iCloud backup is on I think you just want to click backup now I've already done it um, I did it overnight because uh, I've I haven't done it in a long time like we're talking three four years because I've had this thing for a long time um, so it took a while next step is to go connect it to your computer which I have already done um, so and I blocked out the serial number right here I just clicked it and it went to something else so uh, next is to click on Restore iPod, which is right here. Now this is going to put it to factory settings, but that uh, iCloud backup you have is going to basically save all the data that's on there except the jailbreak. Uh, because iCloud obviously doesn't remember Cydia and all those tweaks you have. So you want to hit don't back, don't back up because we already backed it up to iCloud. And then just hit Restore and then continue. You can pause it and read it if you want, but next all you have to do is hit next. Ironically, I didn't mean to <laughs> say that, it's gonna happen. Then you want to uh, pretend you read this. Nobody actually does. Just hit agree. And now you will notice up there, I was just needing music, that it will begin to restore. And you can see that after it did some kind of update, it says extracting software. Now it says verifying restore with Apple. And um, I'm hearing some kind of thing because my uh, device keeps turning on and off. There you go. You're going to keep, you're going to hear that a lot. So uh, I'm just going to meet my volume. And you can see that once that bar loads, it's just like when you update it, um, it will be uh, uh, done restoring. Once those bars have been done loading, you can uh, go to your iPod lock screen and it will look like as if you just took it right out the box. So you can slide that and basically you're going to go through the uh, activation uh, process. So you, first off, you need to punch in your Wi-Fi. After you do that, you can just click next and you can either enable or disable location services. I'll just turn it on and you can... Now, uh, hit Restore from iCloud Backup. Uh, this is the backup that we did before uh, we actually click Restore on the computer. So now just click Next. And now you need to sign in to your Apple ID or iCloud, which is the same thing. Next off, it will bring up the Terms and Conditions. You can just click Agree because, like I said, nobody reads them. And just click Agree. Now say it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. Now it says choose backups. You can choose the uh, most recent backup. And now just hit restore and it will begin to restore settings. And it will tell you um, exactly how long it will take. Alright, so once that is finished, it will give you another one of those Apple loading bar things. And now this is basically the final screen that says restoring from backup. Your iPod Touch settings have been restored. Your purchase and apps and media will now be automatically downloaded. So we can go ahead and unlock it. And now it gives us that same message. So uh, now um, all of the uh, media we had on before will uh, should be downloaded. There we go. <laughs> and I didn't even do a cut. It just kind of happened. So now all these apps will be downloaded. These are all the things we had before. So yeah, um, I guess that's it. Uh, looks like we got to sign in to... 
Unable to access. Okay, sorry about that. Wasn't sure what happened, but it looks like we have to sign into our Apple ID. All right, so it looks like everything is good. Um, there is one big problem. Um, for most of you, this might happen. I don't know. Um, I still have all my contacts. I'm not gonna show that. Oops. But um, yeah. I lost all my pictures, all of them. Um, I don't know how to get them back, but luckily this is a five-year-old iPod. And, um, I have uh, all the throwback pictures on my Nintendo DSi, so I don't have to worry about that. And, yeah, uh, that's how to unjailbreak your iPod Touch. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.